first time I talked to her about the army or any kind of military was in high school when we were dating. You know, we, we dated in, in senior year and my thought was to go into the Air Force with a, a childhood friend of mine. And uh, that was like a, a heck no situation. You know, she would not allow it. But, you know, coming around almost 10 years later and the army thing comes up again, she was like, okay, what? Okay, you're not gonna fight me on this? I was like, okay. We were dating and I was like, you're not going. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. So anyway, he, um, we'd been married, gosh, five or six years, six years, yeah, because we just celebrated our seventh. And um, he had just gotten to a point where, you know, I graduated from college. I got, you know, my degree, I had a good job, and um, he just never really found his niche, never really finished college, didn't know what he wanted to do. He switched careers a few times. And um, finally he re revisited the Army idea, and you know, it's still something he says he wanted to do. And um, so this time, instead of closing him down, shutting him down first thing, I listened and because he went to the recruiting center and got all the information and laid it out for me. And so I listened and, um, and we prayed about it and realized that this is what he needs to do right now because he, he needs to be back I guess, not like he wasn't the head of the, the family, but with me being the one with the job and he had stayed home with our daughter, it um, he just needed to find something that made him proud, like that made him um, feel like he was doing his part for our family and for our country. And so it turned out to be good because he, I mean, as hard as it was being away, especially the first, you know, 10 weeks where there's no communication except for letters. Um, it felt good to, to be so proud of my husband and to have so much respect for him that, you know, we before weren't, in, you know, at a good spot necessarily because it's strenuous when, when it's just very stressful on a family when he, you know, doesn't know what he, what exactly what he wants to do and because for himself because he feels like he's not getting to provide for his wife and daughter like he wants to. And so this was, um, you know, it was like killing two birds with one stone because it was something he's always wanted to do that he's gotten to do, and at the same time, it's giving him a job and a career that's able to provide for his family. Because that's what he—that's his biggest thing—is he's all about his family and taking care of us, and and you know, making sure we're safe and that I can um, be a mom to our kids. You know, so. being a part the relationship with my wife has grown. I don't I don't know how you can say it was grown or ha it has grown, but I think just by being apart so much, uh, all that that puppy love, all that, you know, that first date kind of um, feelings comes back. You've been together it's 10 years, but you've been married seven years, you know, you don't tend to forget how to love each other, but it's just not, you know, it's not always there in the sense of, yeah, I love my wife, but, you know, it's just, it's just there. She knows I love her. I know I lo she loves me, but it was never expressed as much as it is now, just because we've been away, apart from each other so long. And for Laura Lynn, you know, she's my everything. She's my girl, that's my baby. And uh, I think my love for her grew more whenever I met guys over there with daughters. And then seeing them, it, it almost makes me want to you know, tear up, but You never realize what you miss until you're gone. It's a long year for me. Too long.
dismiss my family. Nothing else to it. He always tells me that I'm his hero, but he's my hero. Um, because I can't fathom being away from my kids for, you know, a week, much less a year and a half, or however long he's been gone. Um, and so, with, I mean, the soldiers, I mean, they do it all the time, but it's, it's hard, I'm sure, you know. He has days where I know it's really hard on him, where he calls home and, and it's just, you know, unbearable Sundays. That, that label, hero, is not, I'm not used to it, but whenever I hear Laura Lynn say it, it makes me happy. You know, I, she has somebody to look up to. Who's that? The only thing I hope for is that for Cooper and Laura Lynn, just remember this part. You know, we'll have pictures and, and you know, I'll still have my uniform hopefully if I can fit in it if I'm not fat. But um, just that we can always remember what daddy did. Like they say, and it's so cliche, but they say army families are strong, and it's so true. It's it's very true. They have to be. I'm nervous. I'm not. Ner I wasn't nervous about coming home. The thing I was nervous about was putting myself back into the family as the father figure, as the leader, or whatever. I mean, she's been pretty much everything. Mom, dad, you know leader in our family, taking care of our bills, you know, she's done everything. Cause I really couldn't do anything in Korea, but just to say, hey, here's the paycheck, you know, do what you have to do. But it's, it's scary just to see how things are going to be now. You know, I know she's going to be willing to give up some responsibility to me. She's told me that plenty of times, but it's really a uh, nerve wracking but excited at the same time. I'm nervous, I'm very nervous. I, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm so, because I haven't seen him in nine months, and so it's so weird to be married to someone that you haven't seen in, in nine months, and, and then just seeing him again, it's, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know how to yeah. explain it. It's just, it's, it's very exciting, but it's very nerve wracking. I know it's also an adjustment because we haven't lived together in so long that we're gonna have to adjust to, you know, each other and he's gonna have to adjust to the kids. It's gonna be quite a transition, I'm sure. All I wanted to do was be there at a race and be there at the finish line for Stephanie. She had talked about it before, I had talked about it before, but that was like several months ago. And then just that idea just stayed in my head and I just, I keep picturing it over and over and over, thinking how she would react, so I guess we'll find out. With Adrian being in the Army, I knew that he would come back. He obviously has PT, you know, training every single morning, and, you know, he runs all the time and does other things to keep fit and keep in shape and, you know, work out, and so I wanted to 
I wanted to be able, when he comes back, to have that be something that maybe we can do together. To, um, you know, like I said, Adrian's never known this side of me. He's never known the the wife that likes to work out and run. So it's kind of different because he's always, you know, he's always been athletic and he's always, you know, been into it. And so it's really nice that, that I'm able to now enjoy that with him. And so, so a lot of it was him too because I... Um, I wanted Adrian to just see that, you know, I care about the body that God's given me. I care about being healthy and being fit for our family. And, and so, yeah, I just want to be able to keep up with him. <laughs> Running with Stephanie is going to be an experience in itself. Just because... I actually have somebody to run with now, you know. I've been, you know, I couldn't say I've been running all my life, but playing soccer for the longest time, that's a lot of running. And, you know, doing sports in, in school and, and then a little bit in college and now in the Army, you know, I did a whole year of athletics in the Army in Korea and that was an experience in itself. Now coming back, knowing that my wife has grown this passion of running, it's going to be different because I never had that before with my spouse. Now that running is a part of my life and now Stephanie's life, it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be really, I'm, I'm excited. Just I just have to say I'm excited just because now we can do stuff together. We can work out together. We can run together, you know. And just by that alone, I already think of the future with my kids. Oh, they see mom and dad working out. They see mom and dad running. They see that healthy life that mom and dad's, you know, that living together. Maybe we should do the same thing. So I already, I, I picture a family doing activities together, you know, running together, uh, you know, having, you know, doing sports, of course, with Cooper and Laura Lynn, you know, running with mom every now and then, you know, just having an athletic, energetic, happy family is, there's nothing more I can ask for. Being here knowing that I can't see them for another day, it's, uh, it's quite hard. I think it's harder than being away in Korea. Just knowing that I'm right around the corner and any time I can just spoil the whole thing and say, forget it. I'm going to go say hi. I'm going to go say, you know, I'm going to surprise them now. Why not? But knowing that how important running is to Stephanie now. It's uh, it's quite a turn on to have to have that from her. It, it's I never pictured her ever to become a runner, much less anything as in athletics. You know, she always just liked to be there to cheer me on during athletics. Now it's my turn to be there for her to cheer her on during you know this uh, this run that she's doing tomorrow. But knowing that that I'm here and I can't do anything about it yet, it sucks. It's, it's really hard.
<laughs> and you also get a medal. <laughs> 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 So maybe that's it. Crossing the finish line makes all of it worth it. It's all about, all about the goal, all about the finish line. Um, Steph, I, I know by now the time that you watch this, uh, you'll, you'll get your surprise that I've been planning on. Um, as your dad has helped me a lot uh, planning it. Actually, he's done everything. The only thing I wanted to do was just wait at the finish line with flowers and and just watch your reaction. Um, I do love you very much. Um, I am excited that you have started running. Um, and I, I tell you all the time, and I don't care who sees this, but it's a big turn on that you know you've become an, quite an athlete yourself. And now that we can be active together in uh, in running. Um, it opens a lot more possibilities just for both of us, just to spend more time together. Um, showing the kids that we can do stuff together, be athletic, um, be healthy, run, you know, not, we don't always have to stay indoors, but um, I'm, I'm just excited that you have actually started this, you know. This is a new part of your life. I'm, I'm happy for you. Um, I can't wait to see you tomorrow, which would be one of the best things that is ever going to happen for me just because it's been a long year. Um, I'll go ahead and cut it short before I start crying, but I just can't wait to see you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>